Hi everyone, I want to thank you for giving me the opportunity to share my first 100 days at Lutheran Church Charities. I'm so blessed to have been called by the Lord to serve as President and CEO of this incredible ministry where the mission is clear, to bring the mercy, compassion, presence, and proclamation of Jesus Christ to those who are suffering and in need. Friends, every day we see the hurt and suffering in the world. We hear the cries for help or the immense grief and feelings of hopelessness from those whose lives are tragically impacted by crisis, disaster, or even personal hardship. We see those who have medical conditions that have caused great financial burden, the hungry who long for their next meal, the elderly who are lonely, inner city families who struggle to protect and care for their children, and the orphans who hope for someone to love them. The problems can seem overwhelming at times, but here's what I know. I know that every problem needs a plan, and every plan needs a person, and every person needs a team. It starts with a plan, and that plan has been laid out before us at LCC in the words of 2 Corinthians chapter 1, which happens to serve as a guiding scripture for me as LCC's new president and CEO. It states the plan for this suffering world. All praise to God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. God is our merciful Father and the source of all comfort. He comforts us in all our troubles so that we can comfort others. When they are troubled, we will be able to give them the same comfort that God has given us. You know, God hears our cries and is aware of the hurts and suffering. And even before the foundations of the earth were put into place, He had a plan. And that plan required a person. And the person he sent to fulfill that plan was his one and only son, Jesus. In him, we find the comfort that we need. Jesus also gives us his Holy Spirit so that his comfort can be shared with others. And that means that you and I are drafted onto God's team to bring that comfort, mercy, compassion, presence, and good news of Jesus' love and salvation to those who are hurting. And that is the very heart and mission of LCC. And that mission is stronger than ever. Not only am I blessed to lead an incredibly passionate and dedicated staff here at LCC, but I'm also doubly blessed to have you as a part of Team LCC. I have spent this first 100 days taking time to listen to how LCC has touched your life personally and how through your support of LCC, you reached out with the love of Jesus to those who are hurting and are in need. In fact, I come to you today to first thank you for sharing together in the comfort of Jesus. This plan is big, and I can't stress enough the truth to the fact that LCC couldn't tackle this problem of hurt and suffering without you. And you need to know, we wouldn't want to do it without you either, because we are truly better together. And together, our ministry of comfort and presence is stronger than ever. So let me share with you what I have seen in the first 100 days here at LCC through our canine, HMC, DR, and HC ministry. These are what I refer to as LCC's big four. First canine, our LCC canine comfort dogs serve every day in the communities in which they are placed. They serve as a bridge for compassionate ministry to everyone they meet. Currently, we have 130 teams in 27 states. And through our canine ministry, we respond and deploy within 24 hours of any crisis situation to which we are invited. So far this year, we have deployed to five mass shootings, tragically one every month. In January, we traveled to Monterey Park, California, following the Star Ballroom Dance Studio shooting that tragically killed 11 people and wounding another nine during a two-day Lunar New Year festival. February took us to Michigan State University in East Lansing following a mass shooting that killed three students and left another five critically injured. The entire MSU community were terrified after a man entered a campus building and began shooting. In March, we deployed to Nashville, Tennessee to comfort students, their families, and staff at the Covenant School after a former student entered the school and began shooting, killing three nine-year-old students and three adults who worked there. A few weeks later, in April, we responded to the old National Bank shooting in Louisville, Kentucky. An employee attacked staff, killing five and wounding at least eight others, several critically. Our local canine team was joined by two other teams to serve the shocked and hurting community that continued to grieve at the memorial outside the bank in downtown Louisville. In early May, 
we deployed to Allen, Texas, following another tragic mass shooting that occurred at the Allen Premium Outlet Mall, killing eight and critically wounding others. In addition, K9 has responded to over 50 emergency site visits already this year due to sudden death, suicide, or an urgent need, and continue to receive these requests weekly. We will not become weary in doing good. We will continue to bring good into times like these as we work to push back the darkness with the light of Jesus. Next, HMC, which stands for LCC's Hearts of Mercy and Compassion Ministry which shares love and compassion with handmade wooden hearts in a Bible verse. They are signed and given to a family who grieves the loss of a loved one. A heart can also be given to celebrate as a victory, an expression of love, or as an encouragement through difficult time. We also have special hearts to thank and honor military service, law enforcement, firefighters, and public safety servants, such as 911 dispatchers. We have 15 affiliate churches throughout the U.S. who currently partner with us, and we are growing as we continue to have conversations with many others who want to start this outreach ministry within their own community. When invited, we also provide hearts with crosses or markers at memorial sites to honor victims following a crisis. We place hearts for each victim at the designated memorial site for people to sign and give their condolences to the families affected. This serves as a place to grieve, process their sadness, and honor the precious lives lost. Together, the LCC K9 Ministry and HMC work together to bring comfort and healing to communities who are feeling helpless and hopeless. DR. DR stands for our LCC Disaster Response Ministry, made up of dedicated Lutheran Early Response Team volunteers who serve communities affected by tornadoes, hurricanes, and other massive storms during their long-term recovery efforts. This year, LCC Disaster Response has deployed to two major tornado-devastated communities. In January, we assisted 62 families in Selma, Alabama with recovery efforts from multiple catastrophic EF3 tornadoes. April took us to Arkansas, where we helped 28 families with extensive property damage in Little Rock, Sherwood, and Jacksonville. All from an EF3 tornado that left a path of destruction, injury, and death. We also help families displaced by fire with security deposit assistance for temporary housing. Every year, we conduct alert training to equip volunteers to respond with willing hands, chainsaws, heavy equipment, and compassionate hearts that show Christ's love and care to people who have lost everything. And rounding out the four, is HC, which is LCC's Human Care Ministry, through which we partner with our churches and pastors to provide financial and in-kind donations, people, resources, and emotional and spiritual care. Our Human Care Ministry assists families, soup kitchens, food pantries, lending closets, refuge ministry, and veteran outreach with that comforting, compassion, and love of Jesus. LCC is also working internationally, proclaiming the gospel of Jesus. LCC works with LCMS missions to offer support to international Christian partners in Haiti, Ethiopia, Ghana, Israel, Turkey, Syria, and Ukraine. Your donations help save lives that are at risk during a humanitarian or health crisis. You might be wondering, how can we do all of this amazing ministry? The answer is that every problem needs a plan, every plan needs a person, and every person needs a team. We have God's plan in the work and person of Jesus. The team is Team LCC, which is made up of a staff, volunteers, and supporters who are all sharing together in the comfort of Jesus. Friends, we know that the hurt and suffering endured in this world continues. We also believe that the darkness will never overcome the light. With confidence, we continue forward in faith together. I want to thank you so much for your continued partnership and support of our mission to bring mercy, compassion, presence, and proclamation of Jesus Christ to those who are suffering and those who are in need. Together, we are Team LCC, and I'm blessed to be here with you to share in the comfort.